Ohio 4-H has Ranch Pleasure, which is a rail class. ARHA has Ranch Riding, which is a rail class. AQHA's Ranch Riding is a pattern class. So you've got to kind of know your rules, know your association that you're going to show in. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Ohio 4-H, and then we're going to move over to ARHA for a little bit. In Ohio 4-H, it's a class that's ridden at a walk, trot, canter, extended walk, extended trot. There's no extended canter in the 4-H, and it has to be a class where you're moving along really well. In 4-H, you are allowed a little bit of silver because as we made the rules for that class, a lot of the young people could not afford two different saddles. And if they had a saddle already, so we allowed them to have a little bit of silver on their saddle. In this class, you should have a breast strap or a pulling collar, which is what this is, and a back cinch are all optional. But in my mind, anytime you're riding for safety, you should always have some type of pulling collar, breast strap, and back cinch on a horse, period. If this saddle was to slip, it's gonna keep this saddle from going clear underneath this horse. So to me, these are very important tools to have on your horse. These are all optional in the class, whether you're riding 4-H or ARHA. If you're gonna go with ARHA, no silver over two inches wide. You're allowed to have, so you can't have silver, but it can't be over two inches wide. The, again, the breast strap, the back cinch is optional. No silver on your saddle to speak of. So you want a plain, good, working saddle. And the buckles on this bridle, this is the bridle we got from Weaver. The buckles on this bridle are not sterling. If you look at them, they're kind of a dark buckle. It makes a really pretty picture in what, what you see. It's kind of a Western type bridle. You want it to look the part of what you're gonna do. So these are just a few of the rules really quick. And as far as the bling, your, your attire and stuff that you wear, you gotta get away from the, the blingy shirts, the blingy belts, that kind of stuff. No bling in ranch. It's just like you're out working on a ranch. So hopefully that gives you a few tips that'll help you in your ranch classes.